Hey again, everybody. You ever buy a used BMW and don't really know what your key fob is going to do for you? Well, BMW has a lot of tricks. Let me walk you through how this works. It's going to work on my BMW X5 diesel. This is a 2009. It also works. Most of these tricks work on my E60 M5. And these tricks almost all work on all the other lineups in the 2000 model years, 335s, 328s, and so on and so forth. So let's get started. Now the first thing is the soft touch. This is the comfort. Now that unlocked it. And of course I hit it again. Now it's locked. So then we have two keys, two key fobs. One for him and one for her. And this is going to give you the presets that you left it at last. So last time the female one is what actually locked up the car. So this seat had her preset. Now I'm going to use the his key and I'm going to unlock it and you should see the seat move. So I'm going to hit this, open that up, and you'll notice the seat sliding back to my position. That's the his preset. So you can either do them manually here on the seats, of course, or you can use the key fob here to operate that as well. Now the next trick happens to be unlocking and opening the windows in the sunroof. So I'm going to press and hold this for at least three seconds. Now the windows, as long as you hold this, the windows will open and keep holding it. The sunroof is actually opening too. I'm holding this and you'll notice the sunroof is actually moving as well. Now here's a trick. This will not work in the North American market. I know there's a lot of guys on the internet that say this will work. This will not work in, in most jurisdictions like here up in Canada, probably the US market. I would say you can't reclose with the button. Some markets you can, you could possibly get it recoded, but if I press and hold, some markets will allow you all the windows to reclose and the sunroof to reclose when you hold this down. Obviously it's not working here, you have to do it manually. And a large part of that has to do with the fact that liabilities, they don't want you accidentally closing a window on somebody hanging outside the window. Let's assume that the car is locked. So let's lock that up. So we're coming along, we're gonna go we're going to unlock the car. We're going to go for a drive. I'm going to open the door. Got the key in my hand, of course. Now, I don't need this key. In some cases, if you don't have the comfort version, you need the key in the slot here. I don't need that key in the slot. I can put the key up here. I can put it kind of wherever I want. Foot on the brake. Press the start. It'll start. Now, what I like about this a lot really has to do with the fact that now I can grab this key. I can leave that, everything's running, but I can walk away. Got the key in my hand, now I can go in the house, let the car warm up, and of course I can lock it while I'm doing this. So I can put this in my pocket, nice and safe and sound, and I can go and let the car warm up somewhere else. So did you know these cars also come equipped with a tilt sensor and also with an interior motion detection? That's great if you want to protect it from thievery. What problem, what, what problem I typically find often with these cars is when you're washing the car at the car wash, this thing starts beeping all the time in the car wash. Now there's a way to disable that and it can be done through this. So if you're going, you want to go wash your car or you have a pet in the car for some reason, you want to leave the pet in the car or you've got kids in the car, of course you're not going to leave them out far. You're going to be sitting outside watching your children. But say it's raining out, but you just want the kids to be protected and they're inside the car. There is a way to shut off that sensor so the thing doesn't start beeping just because somebody's inside there, a dog or your, or your kid. You can actually, you use this, you actually use the lock, you press it once. When it, you get the light, you press it again. Okay, so we're gonna try it now, normal style. We're gonna lock it up. Somebody's in the car, of course. They're gonna start moving around and we'll see if this motion detector sets off. With the normal mode of operation. Oh, see, now there's the alarm. So now what we'll do, just to turn that off, disable it. We'll unlock the car and we'll make like we're going to rescue the church person, close it. Now we're going to try to disable the actual tilt system. So we're going to hit this 
we're gonna hit it again. There's another little click in there. Now we're gonna test that. And you'll notice there's absolutely no response to the system. The tilt alarm has been disabled by basically pressing the close button once and very shortly after pressing the close button one more time, you'll hear a very small audible click and that disables the system. Then this gets re-enabled once you unlock, run the car, and relock it again, you'll be back to normal operation. Now there's a few other little generic things, of course. So this is typical, as I explained before. Unlock, lock, the car is locked. Also, if you want to open the hatch, pretty straightforward. You'll notice this car also has the option of having the nice little light shining down off the handles. That's a nice feature. So this of course has another couple of features. You squeeze this tab, you pull that out. This gives you a mechanical key now, which if your battery, you've got an issue with the fob battery or some other problem in the electronics, it allows you to get into the car. You can lock or unlock with this. So that gives you that flexibility. That's your, your saving grace right there. Of course, that's also how you change the battery is on the back here, a very simple process. If you guys would like to see that, very simple, but I can show you that if you really, uh, really would like to see that on the next one. Button that down and we're ready for action. So just remember that will work on virtually every BMW. Some have a few options that, that others don't have and such, like the soft touch or the comfort operation. Uh, some of these, you know, will have it. Most BMWs of that era will have some form of this functionality. And so this really does apply. It doesn't matter if you've got the E60 M5 like I have. It doesn't matter about the X5 here. How about a 335 or a 328 or a 320? How about any of the other models that you have during that generation, you know, in the 2000s into the, you know, 2011, 2012? That generation with this particular key fob is consistent up to around 2011, 2012, in which case then they actually added a, another third little button at the bottom, which gives you further functionality, which will illuminate the headlights, for example, temporarily if you need some light. If you're in a dark spot and you need that light, you can actually press this. There's a third button that this one doesn't have on it. That's on a later model. So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Mark here again, checking out with Exotic Car Play Place. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you guys join the crew. Listen to a lot more of my videos. I've got a lot of great M5 video, a lot of great BMW content in general. Please come around, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment below and we'll talk to you real soon. See you then, bye-bye.